So uh, uh, yeah, this is my this is my first time uh, seeing this game here. Yeah, well, it is a beautiful game. The this biggest draw of it, you know, it's a combat game. So you go, you right. you basically hunt down orcs. Ooh. So I can pull up the menu right here. Pull up the army menu right. right. Ooh, wrong button. Excuse me for a second. Hello, Red Shadow. Hello, everybody. Hello. Boobies, thank Boobies. you for the mix, Thanos. So here is the, um, here Mike, are, here's Mike. the, yes. Where, where are the boobies? Where are they? Uh, sadly, um, well, I think there are some boobies. Some of them are sheltered by armor. We'll see some flop around. Well, I'm sure. All right. Uh, so, next, next boob related question, Mike. Some orc. Yeah. What's, what, what, why are the, why is there an odd number of boobies? Because I'm, I'm concerned because two is a pair, but three is a crowd. So, and, I, and I like crowds. All right. Let's keep it weird. All right. <laughs> so this is the army of the current area. There's the orc heavy, uh, what's that? That's the orc overlord. Oh, fat boy. Yeah, this guy right here. So he's the guy we're going to try and take down. He's got an army here. He kind of uh, looks like one of the uh, one of the vampires from uh, Blade that's like put on too much weight. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 well, I don't think I've seen the Blade, but I, 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 I kind of get what you're saying here. Yeah. <laughs> So all of these orcs are randomly generated, so it's a new challenge every time you play. Okay. And I've already hunted down. The main draw of this game is that the enemies remember you being a total dick to them. Yes. Awesome. This game is, the enemies all adapt to how you play. So I actually had to hunt down some information on this guy and I figured out his weaknesses. Now I know he's damaged by these things. And I know he's got some resistances, so. All right. I shouldn't try, I should not try to use cursed attacks on him because he is immune to curse, things like that. And he's got some uh, war chiefs here that are protecting him. And there's a bunch of captains down here. They're protecting the war chiefs. So all it, it's right. all the hierarchy here. And if an enemy kills you, you don't stay permanently dead. They kill you and you respawn, but they get promoted. So oh, here is okay. Gaz the Ocker. He's already killed me, which is why he is level 63. What a dick. Yeah, for comparison, the guy who's leading the place is only level 40, but this guy killed me mm -hmm. once, got promoted to level 63. He might've killed me twice actually. And this guy is like the beast of the area right now. This war chief, he should be in control because he's so heavy right now. He is immune to a lot of my attacks. I don't, I don't even know his weaknesses. It says gain intel because I don't, I don't have his weaknesses yet. This, this dude needs to brush his teeth. Yeah, he's to Oof. yeah. Oof. Maybe a few less piercings here and there. Hey, uh, uh, are you and Zach gonna play Mass Effect Legendary Edition when it comes out? Zach and I have already played the trilogy, so probably not. But I am gonna take a look at it. And hey, maybe since you haven't beaten Mass Effect Trilogy, maybe we can take a look at it together. Yeah, yeah. I'd be down. There were two orcs in the first area that kept faking death and attacking Mike at least half a dozen times, both named Muzu. Yes, we had a couple of people named Muzu. All right, all right. Ah, so as I was saying, yeah, they all um, they all adapt to you. If they kill you, they get promoted. There are some weird interactions you can have too. So most of these guys haven't killed me, but I have gotten information on most of them. Still gotta get information on this guy, it looks like. Will you play Evil Genius 2, Mike? I cannot promise I'll play anything, but hopefully once I'll be free of my day job, I'll be able to play a wider variety of games. So, I would never say never. Although I have never heard of that game before, so I, I should probably have like a like a, a, a place for people to post games they want us to play so I can take a look at them. I should probably set something aside for that. Anyway, um, th there's also a mechanic that was introduced in this game that allows you to uh, mind control orcs. So once you've branded Ooh. an orc, they are now infiltrating. They're like your spy. Oh, and as you can see, everything that's got a blue symbol on it is thing, people that I've controlled. I have pretty much controlled every captain in the area. All right, all right. I have controlled every captain in the area, and all these war chiefs, which are not under my control, have bodyguards that are uh, all under my control. So, nice. once they try to ambush me with their bodyguards, I'll activate the sleeper agents and the bodyguards will attack him. It'll be a 4v1. It's gonna be super easy. Awesome, awesome. I've pretty much set this up so I can just start the mission. I could, I could conquer this entire just, area just in an hour. Smash them. Yeah. Right. So that's what we're gonna do. I've already set up the pins, and today we're gonna knock them all down. We're gonna take out, um, let's see, Shag Flame Monger. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, King of Mid Midgard. What's up, man? And the, the other two war chiefs, and then we're gonna take on the Overlord. Hopefully it won't be that problematic. Last time I attacked an Overlord, I didn't prepare well enough, and it was a, it was, straight up an hour of me dying to them repeatedly. All right, so so what I'm getting here is you put a lot of work into uh, setting this up already. Pretty much. All right, all right. There's, uh, technically there are like five or six different regions and I've already conquered two or three of them. 
Okay. But I've been working on the other ones for a while. Right. I, I have one. Um, I have one critical question though. Yes. Can you aim for the nuts? Aim for the necks? Nuts. Aim for the nuts. Oh, give him a dick punch? Yeah. I can shoot my arrow at their junk. Okay. But that's not a weak point or anything. It's uh, just like, yeah, head, head's the only weak point. Yeah, most, right. of them, most of them have armored groins at this point anyway. Nah. All, all right, right, all right. A lot of them have adapted to my combat style, so a lot of them have taken up flame immunity as well. All right, all right. But we'll figure out who we're going to go after first, and then we'll get the information. We, we need to get information on this guy first, Gaz the Ocker. So we're going to find a worm, interrogate them, so we can get this guy's information. And then we're going to go after these three guys. All right, you ready? All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's rumble. My man, he went to the barber and just said, fam, just fuck my shit up. <laughs> Which one? This guy right here? No, the, the dude, uh, the dude, the orc dude oh, the that you just uh, highlighted there. A lot. That guy right there? Yeah. <laughs> just shut, just fuck my shit up, fam. Fun I story. <laughs> Fun story about this guy. He was made overlord of one of my, I, I had conquered an area and made him, well, he, he was not the overlord. I conquered an area and he was right. one of my soldiers. And he backstabbed me and took Ooh. over the place Ooh. for his own. Rat bastard. I know. So I tracked him down and I branded him like I normally do to try and brainwash him. Okay. But I did it so hard that it actually broke his mind. All right. All and, right. Na and now he just won't stop screaming, you can take the fort. I don't want the fort. You can take the fort. I don't want. <laughs> he's, he's become deranged, actually. So you can actually. All right. All right. You can mind control them so hard they lose their mind. So that's that's Bruce there. He's, he's, uh, he's a docile sort these days. <laughs> <laughs> this got dark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to know about dark? Last time there was one of my soldiers got captured and I died before I could rescue him. Oh no. And he died. He oh, got no. flayed alive to death. Oh no. <laughs> and he came back to life and said he was going to do everything that happened to him to me. Oh, hey, you forget about me, boss. Are you going to abandon your soldiers, huh? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Good it's God. so great. Did you mean to capture Ithlad, the optional stronghold as well? I, I, I do want to eventually do that. I've already um, checked it out. Yeah. I, I was uh, doing a little bit of this off screen and I saw that place and I went there to check it out. And uh, my soldier said, uh, you know what? This place is not, it's, it's probably just optional. We don't have to take this place over. So I am going to, I am going to try and take it over. So let's see what do we got here. So that's capture gas score. We'll do that soon. Uh, missions. All right, here we go. First missions. Uh, we'll do this one first. Hork Stone High will fast travel there and take that guy out. Give you corn? I have no corn to give. All right, so off we go. There's no fall damage in this game, which is great. I don't remember this from the movies. <laughs> it's the talk. <laughs> They're gonna attack me, but it's fine. All right, all right. Noise. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so nobody knows I'm here because I killed all the witnesses. Excellent. Ooh. I do see on my map there, are, yeah, these green diamond guys. They're the guys who got information. Let's see. Evil Genius is a strategy game like Dungeon Keeper. You build an evil lair and send minions out to get loot ranging from gold to the legendary sword Excalibur. All right. Evil Genius 2 is coming out the 30th this month. Sounds fun. We should check it out, baby. All right, I'm going to do some damage over here. Oh, I think I killed the guy I was trying to interrogate. Yeah, I actually... I'm, sometimes they're just a little too brutal. Anyway, uh, let me just... It's okay, I see more over here. Anyway, I've, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty right now, but I've also played this game a lot, so it's all good. Excuse you! I was in... No, no, stop it. I'm infiltrating. I'm taking... Oh, wait. Oh, oh. No, hold on. I don't have... I thought there was a worm to interrogate, but it, it was not. These guys don't matter. I can just kill them. I don't know what's going on, but this is fantastic. I'm basically just brutally de kill killing and decapitating every, every one of these guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That guy's scared off. All right. So the information is on this table, which is what I wanted. I thought, okay. the, I thought okay. the other guy had it and I needed to interrogate him, but no, it's just sitting right here. So let's pick it up. All right. I need to know information on this Gaz guy that's already killed me once. Does he have any weaknesses? He is heavily damaged by beast attacks. Oh, I, I thought you were about to say bees attacks. No, there are bees in this game. You can't drop bees on people's nice. heads. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Bees! Dazed by poison. All right. Damaged by fire and stealth attacks and poison. All right, so poison is what I want to go for here. Let's see. He's got iron will. He cannot be recruited into your army, but shaming him has an option to, uh, has a chance to remove this fact. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, oh, okay, so don't bring a beast because he, been, he becomes enraged after he kills a beast. Yeah, if, he get, if his health gets low, he becomes enraged. And if they're enraged, they're obviously going to be stronger. 
um, enraged by things. He's immune to execution and arrows and curse. He's got a lot of immunities, sadly. All right, all right. I don't think any of this matters too much because I am going to have three guys betraying him at once. Ah, all show blood for corn. Right. Sure, blood for that corn. Uh, technically, it's not bees, it's flies. I like to say bees, that way you can go, not the bees, no! <laughs> Rabbit has a terrifying battle cry. Okay, yeah. But he's not, is he, uh, let's see, is he's not, he's not enraged by, oh, he is enraged by betrayal, so. Once Ooh. my, once my three guys betray him, he's gonna get enraged, so it's actually gonna be kind of tough still. Okay. But I think we can get this done. I see the ranger. No, 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 you don't see me, shut up. <laughs> Luckily, you're very fast this game, and if somebody sees you, you can just run away. What are run these away! but angry flies? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> bees are angry flies that also make honey. Angry, stingy flies. With delicious spit. Oh, yes. It's my favorite of the insect excretions. Wanker it is, I'm Morgan Freeork, and I am here to tell you the story of your demise. Oh, the orcs of Mordor will ensure your suffering is suffering which will make all men of Middle East tremble in fear such torment. Not even I can talk about it because I'm Morgan Freeork must stay PG-13 by the order of the Witch King. And thus ends the PSA of me, Morgan Freeork. May your and Middle East suffer, Ranger of Gonda. Well, while Morgan Freeork was giving us his diatribe, we got ambushed by this guy who just randomly showed up. It happens sometimes, you get ambushed by these guys. He is mentally deranged, which is why he's not saying anything, and he's just screaming. All right, all right. I don't know where he came from. I thought I had every captain in this area under my control, but apparently not. But he's isolated, it's just me and him, so it should not be much of a problem. I'm really good at one-on-one -on -one combat. How was he taking all these stabs? He's an orc. My man, he's... Oh, yeah, he's an orc. All right, all right. Oh, he oh adapted. God. He adapted. He actually almost went... I, I've got uh, very little health right now. Ooh. I'm going to need to find some health. Yeah, that's my that's the problem when you're playing on the highest dip, the hardest difficulty is uh, you, you pretty much get too tapped, so... Hey, Mike. Yeah. Uh, get better. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> he's coming back down, actually, so... All right. Good, and he's on the ground. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, okay, okay. And, oh, 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 one of these. Oh, no, dodge that. There you go. Okay, we got him. All right, all right. He's going to drop on the ground, do a ground execution. I can't do that anymore, apparently. Oh, snap. Oh, the regular execution, then. How you like them? There you go. Throw a dagger at him. All right, I'm going to shoot him in the leg. Mikey and Kirk, what a time to be alive. I'm cleaning my weapons and subbing for month five. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, that rhymed, too. Thank you, Nordic Cardio. All right, we got him. He's broken now. Oh. All right. Because I've broken his spirit so much, I can do this to him. And now I have the option of recruiting him. I could shame him. If I shame him, he'll lose like 20 levels. Okay, okay. Hey, Zero. Good to see you again. Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Whoa. <laughs> Nice. He's always so generous. Look at that. D Schmau and DJ Draconian probably got some. Thank you. And thy salt. When they find out, they're going to be so grateful. Thank you. Oh, so much. All them ducks in chat. Thank you. Oh, so much. Yeah, so you can recruit this guy to your army, which I probably will do. Or I could just fight him to death, you know, murder him like I did the last guy. Um, or I could shame him, which it, it, it makes him run away. He loses 20 levels. All right, all right. Will he come back? He'll probably, he might come back, but since we're almost done with this area anyway, I'm almost done with this region, yeah. I'm just going to recruit him. Why not? You will serve me. So I was going to see you, Zero. Hope you have a good weekend so far. <laughs> all right. We, okay, we've got him under our control. <laughs> that burning you feel, it is shame. <laughs> you got your second shot? We've been drinking too, you know. I got my second shot. Somebody kill me. Yeah, Kirk brought over some apple cider, some alcoholic apple cider, which I've never really had before. Really damn good. It's like apple juice, but for adults. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are, are you talking about a COVID shot there? Oh, you're, pro oh, you're probably talking about your, you're probably talking about his COVID shot. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it really, is it really fucking you up? I, I've heard it happen to a couple people, but most people have. My dad got it. He was fine. Yeah, I, I got the single shot uh, through through the VA. Oh. And, uh, uh, <laughs> My second yep. <laughs> shot, Mike. Oopsie. Yeah, I, I made a grave mistake 
that evening I drank fairly uh, fairly heavily. Oh, you're not supposed to do that? Um, you shouldn't because uh, my, my immune system just went off the rails and I felt like I had the flu for about two days. Yeah. Uh, all right. You dense <laughs> You dense motherfucker. All right, get out of here, buddy. Yeah. See you later. All right, who saw me? Anybody see me? Okay, people saw me. I don't have to, I don't have to deal with these guys. I'm just gonna leave. The, the uh, mission start point is up here anyway, so I'm gonna grab this quickly. And we're gonna start the mission. Or where the heck is it? Oh, it's down, is it down there? I think they're throwing, I think they're throwing small rocks at you. Oh, it's down here, hold on. I didn't drop down, can I? There we go. All right, that's what the mission start point is. Here we go. Betrayal, how am I doing? I'm doing great, thank you, Quiet Lander. Thank you for asking. You got your second shot on Tuesday? It's good to know people are getting their shots. Getting rid of this thing once and for all. You've been watching the channel since the second episode of Fallout New Vegas series? Wow, that was like four and a half Jeez. years ago at this point. Thank you. Wow. Fallen love the channel, been watching it ever since. Always cheers you out. Well, glad we could make your day a little brighter, Rich. Shadow. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. All right. Hork Stonehive has three bodyguards that are leading him into an ambush. Let's see his details. All right. He's terrified of the bees and he's terrified of stealth. Okay. All right. How does he feel about betrayal? Is he enraged by... No, he's enraged by pinning. So don't pin his legs with arrows. Poison proof, frost proof. He's got categories that he rides into battle. He's terrified of flies, so if I see flies drop on his head, he's pretty much done. Nice. Okay. And oh, he's got a fear of burning. Well, all my weapons are fire, so... <laughs> Sucks for him. Penis. Penis! Thank you for the bits <laughs> and also saying penis. <laughs> How's it eating? Pretty abysmal. Hey, club! Yo! Let's grab that human and roast some nice pink. Uh, you're gonna be roasted, boy. For the Bright Lord. That's me, I'm the Bright Lord. Yeah, hey, there you go. Oh, snap. Yeah, all right. So, I can. Oh, he's already broken. He, <laughs> he's so easy. That guy is. He's terrified of the boss freaking. He's. Okay. Some of my guys are freaking out immediately, but. It, oh, stop. Stop. Hold on. It's, it's fine. A little panic is going on. A little chaos, but it's okay. I got the thing under control. <laughs> For the bright lord, you will fight. Ah, now I'll serve the bright lord. All right. See you later, buddy. <laughs> All right. Mission one completed. Hooray. The fortress has been weakened. Before this war chief has uh, made it easier to conquer the fortress. Nice. All right. That's mission one. Now I got two more to do. Heck, you're amazing at this. I'm, I am phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done this. Yeah. Do lots of penises. Yeah, I hope so. That's what I've been punching in, right? I mean, how do they reproduce? Is it like snails that do penis jousting? I don't, I don't know. These questions are weird questions to be asked. You, you ever see a female orc? I mean, have you seen beetles do that penis jousting where they have to, or yeah, like the, 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 the beetles that have to like penetrate the shells? Yeah. Yes, yeah, weird shit. It's messed up. We must climb faster. Hey, sorry. I need some. I need some help. I need that help. Thank you very much. All right, bye. Orcs can't have penises because elves don't have them either. Elves have penises, don't elves they? Elves are hung, my man. You're you're, you're wrong. You are so wrong. Elves are hung, but they never use it. It's just not polite. They they just you know they, they may engage in a sexual act like <laughs> once a millennia. What is this? A ghoul hunt. Oh. So one of my guys is leading a hunt for ghouls. I don't have to bother with that. He's fine. All right. I just have to go over here. Mission right here. Corpses dry out fast here. All right. By the plot of this game, the, by the way, the plot of this game, and you really don't have to know this until like the cutscenes start or anything. But All right. uh, my character died, had his throat slit by orcs, got possessed by a ghost. Now I'm basically a man and a ghost combined. And that's neat. what the ghost is allowing me to do all this fancy stuff and come back from the dead. That's pretty much it. Oh, neat. Yeah. <laughs> Recently found the channel, the day of Fallout New Vegas 10th anniversary. Uh, 10th anniversary? Oh, yeah, okay. Because, uh, yeah, not the 10th anniversary of the channel, but the 10th anniversary of the game being released. The first video you've watched was the custom loading screens video. Yeah, that was fun stuff. <laughs> your brother showed it. You began to watch more and more. These past years have been very tough, and you're glad to finally be able to find amusement and fun in your life again. Yeah, it's been tough for a lot of people. I'm glad we've been able to help you out. Look forward to seeing future videos and streams and keep being awesome. Oh, thanks. You keep being awesome too, buddy boo. Buddy bun boo. Yeah, I've been working on videos today. I did that earlier, but now we're relaxing a little bit of stream. Word. All right, let's see if Shag Flamemonger lasts a little bit longer than the last guy. What's his details on this guy? He's heavily damaged by beast attacks. 
do, do you have a beast? It's a myth that elves don't have dicks. They do. They just retract. Oh, like a dog's. <laughs> he, Red Rock is sparky. Red Rock is. Yeah. Oh, he's fireproof. He's fireproof and he's enraged at the sight of a shadow strike. So don't shadow strike him. All right, all right, all right. Don't do that. He has a flame weapon. He rides categories into battle. And he throws fire bombs. Okay. Since you're half ghost, does that make you Danny Phantom? I guess you could put it that way. All right, let's begin. Hey! Come here, elf lover! Me and the boys want to show you some orcish kindness. <laughs> yeah, he, he's on fire. The fault fire. was never mine. It was always his fault. His fault. That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy whose brain you broke. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like eating his. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Boozy Pander. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got four guys here. Let's see. Should I get involved? Do I have to get involved? I think my guys can handle this. I think they're gonna eat him. <laughs> I mean, it's a four on one. There's no way he survives, right? One of my guys is dazed. The other guy's enraged. He's got a lot of stuff on fire. Yeah, thank you for the five gifted subs, Boozy Pander. Yes, you do. You do strike again. Good to see you again. Oh, he's broken. Now it's my chance to strike. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Alright, come back. Swear loyalty to the bright lord. I will see your commands through. Exquisite. Mm. As you wish, bright lord. Alright, that's two for three. Fortress has been weakened. Good. Alright, and now for the third and final war chief. He's actually pretty strong. He's, he's actually such a high level that I can't recruit him, sadly. Ooh. So we're either gonna have to kill him. Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably just kill him. Go for the kill. Yeah. Oh, um, oh. Blood for the blood god. Dude. Oh, you're on fire. Uh, hold on, let me help you out here. Yeah, you're fine. You can have the fall. All right, you have fun too, Bruce. See you later. <laughs> As long as we mutually agree not to tell my husband how much I've gifted these last two streams, I'll be okay. <laughs> All right. I won't even, I won't say a word. Unless they're in the chat and I don't know they're here, then I'll probably say something to them. So, Gaz the Orker, the Ocker, I guess. Heavily damaged by beast attacks, fear of poison. Mm. But does he have a fear of betrayal? Yeah, he's, got a, he's enraged at betrayal, so it might be tough. I might have to step in and make sure my guys don't die here. Have you considered poisoning him? Oi! Cry Walker! Right! Let's give this a bill. For the Bright Lord! I love how they all are British. <laughs> yes, it's great. So, for in terms of uh, poison, I do have poison daggers, I believe, as a skill I've unlocked. Let's see. Maybe I've, if you yeah. fart on his pillow, he'll get pink eye. Hmm. That's kind of like poison. Uh, oh, daggers here. No, wait, hold on. Do I have... I don't know where my poison daggers are, if they're even here. Oh, actually, it's gear, isn't it? Hold on. No, I, I don't have the ability to poison. I don't have the ability to fart on them, sadly. Uh, okay, so this <laughs> current dagger I have does curse. This one does poison. There we go. Now that we got the poison dagger, he is enraged immediately by betrayal. Oh, shit. So I'm throwing a couple daggers at him just to poison him a little bit. He's dazed. Okay, if I throw daggers at him, he becomes dazed. And I'll let my guys wail on him freely. Oh, okay, yeah, this should be fine. He's already down to a quarter of health. Are you guys all right? Oh, one of them's in raging. Yo, yo, hey, 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 knock it off. Yo. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Stop it. Everybody, calm the fuck down. Ouch, what the hell? What just hit me? <laughs> okay, it's all good. Oh, okay, one of my guys just got killed because the other guy got enraged, I guess. <laughs> Oh, okay, man, he's really pissed off now. Okay, okay, that's that was a problem. Okay, throw a dagger at this guy. He's arrowproof. He's actually arrowproof, so I can't get him. Okay, I thought my daggers were poisoning him, but it's not because he's arrowproof. He's daggerproof. That guy has got a poison weapon though. So, oh, okay, okay. I have to get involved apparently. I'm gonna try and do my best to keep this guy alive. Oh, he's turning green. It's not good for him. It means he's covered in poison, which is good. He's dazed. I think I've had about I'm kind of stuck in a rock right now. Yo, what's up? It's true what I say. 
You keep coming back, you filthy, brutal, cold-blooded bugger. You can't kill me. Uh, okay, you can try. You can do your best to kill me, though, apparently. Save me, my bodyguard. Save me. Okay, I'm going to step away a little bit. Like, I, I'm not I'm not well-versed in this game, but... Okay. Oh, there he goes. He's dazed. You should try not to die. Submit. Um, oh, oh, shit. But he's too he's too high level. He's too powerful to recruit. And if I sh I don't need him shamed because I see I just need him out of the way. Hey, Boozy Pander, ten more gifted subs. Oh, Thank crow. you, man. Boozy and Zero the first have been on a tear this weekend. Thank you I, so much. You guys think I should shame him? I want him dead. I need him out of the way. I, I kind of want him dead too. Yeah. We gotta go with. Him. I yeah. normally do shame, but we need to get some work done today. So. Oh, I. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's, I can't, uh, he's arrow-proof, so I can't do anything with that. Can't throw daggers at him. I can charge into him. There we go. How about this? You like, oh, no. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. You like this? You like this? Yeah. That's what you get for not joining my army. Stitches, stitches get stitches or something. I don't know. All right, that's good. Enraged by mortal wounds. Oh, yeah, you're just pissed at everything, aren't you? Oh, shit. I mean, I get pretty pissed off if someone stuck a knife in me. Ouch, what am I stuck by? Like oh. 30 times. Shouldn't have done that, Mike. He's that was pissed. rude. He is super angry right now, you know? <laughs> hey, time to Dark Souls roll out of here. <laughs> All right, how about if I just... Nope, nope, never mind. Okay, is he good now? Okay, he's, he's fine. He's just casually enraged. Yeah. He's just, you know, just beating everything to death. Nope. All right, we got this. Give me a, he's, like, he's like right on the brink of death. All right, there we go. Watch this, here we go, we got him. Nope, okay, he actually hit me a little bit. Finish him off, my minions, finish him! Don't let him get, no, don't let him do this! Woo Give him Arby's hell die from constipation. That was my one last chance. If that happens again, I'm guaranteed to die. Oh, good, he's poisoned, he's poisoned. He's dazed, good, good, tackle him. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 you like this, you like this! Oh, shit. This is what you're about, isn't it? You can't get enough of the slaughter. You're likely going to see a lot of death, Kirk. Hopefully his and not mine! Yep. Nice, oh, oh. nice swing you had at one moment. Hey! Decapitation! Oh, shit. <laughs> Use the Pangor Jack Glamour. I don't need to, he's dead. Good job. Good job, everybody. Fortress has been weakened. Defeating the war chief has dis disabled Defender Host. All right. Noise. Boy, this guy barely survived. You better get out of here, guys. Oof. Yeah, one of my guys didn't. He just straight up died because one of my guys lost his freaking mind. Okay, there's a, another mission called Blood Justice available. I don't know what that is. Before we go after the uh, the Overlord, there's one more thing we have to do. Kirk, play Turok on stream, or one day on stream. Yeah, <laughs> I. We may have to uh, try and figure that out at some point. Give him Arby's, he'll die of constipation. Ew. <laughs> so here's what I, oh, what's this? What the heck is this? Unknown war chief. All right, before uh -oh. we start doing any of this stuff. Uh-oh, Davey. Well, I'll have this guy infiltrate, become a spy by proving his worth in the fight pits. Okay, we'll do that. The fight pits are kind of fun. Ooh, they remastered it on Steam? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right, I didn't know that. Yeah, definitely gonna have to pull up some Turok at some point. All right, so where's my mission at? That's Ghoul Hunt. Um, it's right there. I need to go there for the infiltration mission. Yeah, we gotta do that quickly. Might have to do a little bit more man, man uh, management of the uh, army before we go after the Overlord to get our best odds. I think we'll be fine though. I'm Chat Dog. I'm Chat Dog. I'm Chat Dog. <laughs> I'm Chatwag. Ch chat dog, chat la 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 dog. Chat wag. <laughs> Love how it pronounces this. <laughs> Hold up, they made they remade Turok for Xbox. Did they? I've never played the I've never played any Turok games, so I can't say. Uh. But apparently, they're on Steam, according to that person. All right, all right. Definitely gonna have to check it out. I'm sorry. Do I stink? I feel like I stink. Am I a little stinky right now? Uh, Mike. Yeah. Um, I farted. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's not me. <laughs> no, it's not you. I farted. All right. Because sometimes Zach tells me I'm a little stinky. It's like, oh, Sorry. I probably should put on some deodorant. But okay. As long as it's not me. Where's the freaking mission start point already? 
He's over here. So, question for you. Yeah. Why does your dude look like a wraith? Is that the ghost? Yeah, that, that wait, that's the ghost right there. Help right. Me, help, every time I do that, ghost, like, a normal person can jump, right? But a nor can a normal person double jump? No, but the wraith lets me do it. Woo! Noise. Anyway, let's just get rid of this guy in the most brutal manner possible. Noise. And begin the mission. Here we go. So our guy, Urbenu Painseeker, is going to go after an enemy captain and prove himself to become a spy. We, we might need to do this a couple of times. You don't stink, Mike. Zach's just intimidated by your natural muscle. <laughs> uh, have I tried showering? I've already done it once this week. Get off my back, Mom. <laughs> and what we've been doing the last couple of times we've been uh, doing these pit fights is yeah. uh, we've been doing wagers in the chat, so we'll do that right now, actually. All right. So is it is it you versus this uh, this so nasty-looking dude? This is our guy. Urbenu Painseeker okay. is our fighter right here. Okay, versus an The grassing mode is a little dry. Let me turn on the sprinkler face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> that should right. help. So, let's check out the stats on our guy first. Alright. So, this guy, he's level 46. He's damaged by ranged attacks and fire attacks and stealth attacks. Okay, not that great. So, he's... Those are, yeah. Yeah. He's got a fear of burning. That's a big thing. So, okay. if the enemy has a fire weapon, he's going to be at a disadvantage. And if I know anything about... Uh... Lord of the Rings. There's there's lots of people on fire. Yeah, there are short, short times, yeah. Lots of fire around here, especially if they're on my team. I, I always give people fire weapons. Nice. Um, and he's got... Okay, so he, he doesn't seem to have anybody joining him into battle, does he? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, he's enraged by a lot of things, so he's going to be enraged when he's at low health. Um, it's pretty much the only thing that's going to be a problem here. He's going to be enraged when he's at low health. All right. So that's, his, that's the one advantage he has. Oh, he's immune to curse, too. So he's immune to curse, but okay, he's okay. super scared of fire. Now we're going to take a quick peek at the other guy before we start the betting. All right. So there he is. He's got no fire weapon. It's good. All right, all right. I'm not impressed. Attack. 41. He, he you have big. chosen where you will die. I will choose how. All right, so the enemy is five levels lower. Keep that in mind. All right. The enemy right. is five levels lower. Hold up. He has a flaming spear. I don't think that's him. I think our, I, him? I, don't, okay. I don't know if that's him or not. I didn't nope. No. No, he looks different. Our guy is way bigger, but the other guy's got an entourage. They, he's got four other guys joining him in battle. Oh. And that could be a real offsetter here. So we'll make the prediction now. There you go. Now you can make your predictions. You can put your wagers with your channel bits. Whoever you want to bet for, the I think shame the pain seeker. <laughs> I, smart money is always on the house. Always bet on the house. When you bet on my guys, because last time we did this, the, uh, the blue guys always won. Like my guys won all, handily almost all the time, but it's been close a couple of times, and there have been a few times previously where it's uh, not not worked. I don't know. He's got a lot of dudes. He's only five levels down. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to. Uh, sorry, Mike. I, you don't think so? No, you, no, death by a million cuts. You don't think Pain Seeker is gonna be happy? He's, you think he's gonna take? He's, he's not gonna win this fight? Nope. I think your dude is going down. Okay, he may very, he may very well Always be. Always bet too long. Always bet on the big guy, the big Olog. All right, that's yeah. Bet on my guy. He, yeah, the size is gonna be a decent advantage, but it's not a huge advantage. It is offset by how many smaller guys he's got. Remember that guy of yours who slew a guy and gained eight levels? <laughs> yeah, our, our one underdog, 21 beats, beats 29. So levels nice. aren't everything. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I think more dudes, you know, it's it's a party. All right, so here we go. Let's see how it plays out. I'm not allowed to intervene in this fight, so it actually is just straight, straight up. Let's right, see what happens right. here. Looks like the enemy got first blood. A couple arrows, yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they're, yeah. They're, they're ranged guys. They're, they're throwing spears and stuff at him, but our guy can see his hands dirty. Oof. Landed a solid blow. He's kind of focusing him down, honestly. Down to half health, yeah. Things are looking good for our guy. Ooh, he's, he's broken. Yeah, yeah. Our, our guy has not even been touched. Uh, he's been, yeah, he's getting death by a thousand cuts, but they're not gonna make it to a thousand. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna make it to like 20. <laughs> there, there you go. Oof. Yeah, it wasn't really a close fight. Oof. Our guy wins. There you go. All right. Always bet Olog high. Always bet on the Olog high. All right. <laughs> Let's. All right, all right. I've learned my lesson. 
All right, let's see if I can actually I added this functionality. Let's see if this actually works here. So like right there, is that a thing I did? I don't know. I tried to like uh, add it kind of like a window so you can see the bets. So let's see. Okay. Freaking ah, uh, I'm I'm terrible at this. I'm I'm a terrible Twitch streamer. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and I have even less of an idea. Choose prediction outcome. So it looks like ninety seven percent of our bets were put on Ur Urbanu Pain Seeker. Sorry, it looks like uh, if, that, if, you're the, if you're the one person who bet on the other guy, you didn't win. Yeah. Because our guy won handily. <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was that was pretty cool. Honestly, so far, I like this game. It's, I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. This looks like a blast. Okay, so that was our one guy. Is he a made a war chief? He should be made a war chief now, I think. The other guy was trash. I believe so too, yeah. So that's our, our last guy. That's our guy. Our guy has just made a, just made rank of war chief. Um, Gaz the Ocker has been taken out. We'll have let's see who else can take his place. Mog the Bone Crusher, level forty four. Sure. Why don't you have you? Why don't you move me? Oh, he's my bodyguard. Yeah, we'll keep him bodyguard. All right. Uh, let's see who else. Muzu, lucky shot. Oh, this guy. All rock the protector. He should be fine. All rock. All rock. Let's hope Kirk gets to see a savage berserker with the screamer personality. Oh, there are a couple of screamers so far. Well, we, we found the whimper and we found the guy who keeps on screaming, you can have the fort. We that, might... It sounds like fun. I can't wait. <laughs> so I'll rock the protector. You go in the arena. There you go. Still waiting for companion Kirk. Who's companion Kirk? Uh, someone needs to make a companion and mod you into the game. Into Fallout New Vegas. Someone who's got more time than I do. <laughs> so, all rock the protector. We'll start up another prediction right here. All right. Oh, where's my mouse? There's my mouse. All right. So, again, <laughs> sorry, Cthulhu follower, the one person who made that bet, I guess. Who wins? So, hey, our guy. I was with you, Cthulhu. <laughs> all rock the protector. So, let's see who he's going up against first. And also see what his weaknesses are. You right. won't beat me. The enemy has a cursed weapon. Ooh. Another globe for slaughter. All rock is on a shield. All right. I didn't really catch their levels. I can't check his army. I can't check out my army right now. I should have checked the, uh, the characters before I played. All right. So you're going to have to go in a little blind. The other guy's got a cursed weapon. I don't know if our guy is weak to curse or not. So what's uh, our cursed weapons pretty like pretty powerful. Uh, it just it's kind of like a status effect, like po like poison or fire. It does damage over time, I believe. He is a shield guy. He's got a shield, so he can defend against a lot of attacks. Okay. He's riding a category in the battle, so he's got that on his side. So he's got a category and him. Yeah, he's he's pretty well protected, and he's he has the high ground, Anakin. Yeah, he's got a tire. Is he on a dire category? All right, so he's on a strong mount. So he's, that's two of them. The other guy, I think he had an entourage, which you know it's it's strong, and he's uh, got a cursed weapon, which is also a problem for us. I saw what an entourage does. It nothing. <laughs> well, <laughs> normally it is, but our guy just ig ignore the enemy's entourage. It doesn't normally focus them down that hard. Our guy was just smart, which is not common. Uh, it looks like a pretty fair fight. Let's go, other guy. You think Roman like it? You keep on betting against the house. Eventually, you'll win, right? Yeah, I mean, sooner or later, you will land a jackpot. So right now we have thirty six thousand channel points on our guy and like two thousand on the other guy, three thousand on your guy. Oof. So it's like uh, ten to one odds against that guy. I, I can understand why people would say that. Uh, yeah, our um, we've been doing really well in the arena, which is great for me, and it really helps me infiltrate the enemies. But uh, not great for the people that uh, want a fair fight because it's usually been pretty one sided. <laughs> Eventually, you'll get a lot of channel points. There you go. That's the spirit. <laughs> the game was rigged from the start. You just want a perfect 5,000 points. So you're going on the other guy. All right. Well, best of luck. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, actually. Okay. So uh, they both have. Oh. Bees. Yeah. Okay. Those are the cursed weapons. Yeah. Cursed summons bees. So our guy has the big old bodyguards. Yeah. But uh, he's going to get knocked out of his category pretty soon, I feel like. Yeah, it's really more of an army versus an army fight here. Don't let him scare you off. Your dude, what's your dude doing? He's not even swinging. He's no, he's letting his... He's just kind of being lazy, letting his other guys do it. All right, all right. Yeah, he's letting the big Olog guys beat this guy down. He's, he's like, I don't have to participate. All right, all right. He's very overconfident, and his category has just been killed. All right, so now he's coming into the fight. All right, here he is. Here he is, but, um, okay. 
looks like both of them are hardly scratched. Well, a little bit, yeah. Essentially, oh, cursed you. weapons only really affect grunts and are more dangerous to Talion. It's not as effective on captains compared to fire and poison. It's like okay. a very okay. meek poison. Okay, good to know. Yeah, so that guy, okay, he just threw a bolus at him and got him captured like that. Yeah, the other, the enemies uh, got Ooh. ranged weapons. They like to throw spears Ooh. at him and they're taking him down quite a bit, actually. Oof. Our guy is seven levels high, but he's getting a lot of spears in his back. You see that? Holy He's shit. He's a freaking pin cushion now. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. Okay, he's actually going to participate in the fight now. Go, oh, bisected. <laughs> he just chopped him in half with a shield. Yup. <laughs> Ulrock the Protector is victorious. Yeah. Nice. You might just win bed, but not this time. Sorry. I thought for sure he was going down with how quickly they were dropping him. I know, right? So let's see what the prediction was. It was 93% on Ulrock and 7% on the other guy. So sorry, Roman Legget, but Erzad probably won a little big there. There do, you do, go. Do, Ulrock do. the protector wins. I mean, <laughs> F in the chat. You can say a lot of Fs. Yeah, all right, that's that one. Um, I think there are two more spots available. I shit this chick in the face with a super shotgun in Fallout 4. Now I own waterfront property. I, mean, I, I assume you meant to say shoot, and then you didn't just dump again the chick in her house. No, oh, I, I, I project, I projectile shit. What I wanted to do was have all of my guys be war chiefs, but that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass because I took out four war chiefs and before I could get them all replaced, they replaced two of them with their own guys. Hmm. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to make our guys bodyguards. Her faces looks like shit, so still accurate. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I do. Okay, you, 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 Bruce, you can be my Bruce. bodyguard. All right, you're my bodyguard. I love you, Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, I love you, Bruce. Oh, <laughs> looks so dour. He's, he's, he's just, he's just cracked. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got this guy and this guy and this guy. Those are our war chiefs and these two war chiefs that just got appointed to replace them. I don't know. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have uh, our our Pratu half tongue our Pratu. become his bodyguard. We have three bodyguards for each of them. All right. So now you have to prove yourself in the fight pits to make that happen. There you go. Which means we get to watch more fighting. I like more bets on this. Yeah, it's fun. I wish you would tell us who the spy is. Okay, here's our guy. Our Pratu Half Tongue. You can speak a little bit of the, the black language. Okay. So he's damaged by ranged attacks and fire. Let's see, he is rabid. I like it. I are, like it. I are, like his chances already. He can intimidate anybody when he, with his terrifying battle cry. He can charge after opponents and knock them to the ground. He is enraged by categories and mortal wounds. Okay. And he's vengeful. That doesn't actually do anything in the arena, sadly. Uh. Uh, so he becomes enraged, so he's eventually going to become enraged in this fight if he gets down to that low of a health, so... Neat! No major weaknesses. I don't see any major weaknesses. Yeah, he is damaged by everything normally, but he has no major weaknesses or strengths, it looks like. Okay. Can you upgrade him with a ca with cash to cover a weakness? I could, but since we've been dominating the arena already, it, it seems like it'd be um, unfair for us to make that distinction, so... My man's got a goatee and no neck. He's, he's gonna win. He's there, gonna win. You think? All right. Tongue is such a weird word, you know? It's a weird Tongue. spell. I can never spell right. All right. I always need spell correction. Begin the predictions now. Let's see what the other guy... Oh, hold on. For some reason, who wins is not... A, it's not compliant with guidelines. You can't ask who wins. I don't, some, I don't know why it does that sometimes. Winner? Question mark? Haven't you heard of the Emancipation Proclamation? Sorry, Sorry I, don't I don't listen to rap music. Rap music. <laughs> All right. Oh, classic horrible line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Betting is out open now, I believe. And now let's see what the other guy we're going up against. Who's this jerk? Ooh. Oh. Think you're tough, eh? Rug we'll see about that. Level 38 tank. No entourage. For the dark Lord. Nah. You feel mm. He is eight levels below our guy. Doesn't have an entourage. Is half his size. Doesn't have a poison or fire weapon. Not looking good. No, no, I, I'm, I'm with our dude. Yeah, if I, our dude. if I had to bet on any of these things with any confidence, it would definitely be this fight. It would be our guy. So if anybody wants to take the riskiest bet of all, those are, those are winning the lottery odds to bet on the other guy. Yep, Roman Leggett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll hit gold eventually, right? Gotta get that gambler's fallacy going, yeah? 
Uh, I, Mike, at this time, I think it would be a good time to just uh, insert a little PSA about uh, if you have a gambling problem, please call. <laughs> if you have a gambling problem, join us. We love gambling. <laughs> the other guy is screwed. It feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it, biff. My guy's got a sh that guy's got a shield. Though. Oh, our guy just like, kicked dirt in his face or something. Uh, ah. I think he sneezed. <laughs> 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 he yells that. He, 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 I don't know why he does that. He does that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, bleh, 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 bleh. I mean, I, I think that's that's what I would do if I were a giant orc. Pocket sand. <laughs> Pocket sand. Pocket sand. Oh, you missed, buddy. Uh, and he go. Oh, whoa! That was that could have been a killing blow. And this is the killing blow. <laughs> Censored <laughs> for TV. No, there it is. <laughs> Our Pratu wins. That wasn't even close. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Rough start, but we'll win. I no, I don't think you will. I don't think you will. I, for some reason, I feel like no, it's not gonna work. So choose prediction outcome. Let's see the betting. Ninety-eight percent on our I guy. I don't have a problem with my gambling. You have a problem with my gambling. <laughs> <laughs> so our Pratu is indeed the victor. Congratulations. All right, we got a few more bets to do. So you might be able to, if you still have bets left over, you might be able to get your chips back. You wish I would go to the actual- Whoa, Ooh, I almost fell right. backward. Yep. <laughs> sorry, my chairs kind of suck. The damn kids, I lost the house. <laughs> uh, Mozu, lucky shot. Uh, who's, who's, uh, what the, who's the lowest level guy we got here? Bruise. I don't want to send out Bruise. I love Bruise. Yeah, oh, here we go. Crook Beast Slayer. This is going to be a challenge. Here we go. Beast Slayer. Become bodyguard. You pass foul spawn. That's our guy. Send Crook Beast Slayer to become a spy by proving his worth in the fight pits. He, he looks like a grandpa. Like, <laughs> he, he looks like an old ass orc, dude. Yeah. Ooh, I'm not so sure about this dude. Wait, that's not him, is it? No, no, no. Where, where was Just to the left. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Look at this dude. He, look, he looks old. He's grumpy. Like he's... he's wearing a Categorist head on his head, like a helmet. Yeah, I mean. Ooh, ooh. He's also, um. A crossbow wielder? Not exactly a battle, a, not an arena weapon you want to bring. Yeah. Orcs have come back after dying that all Mike sucks at Killick. <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, I'm mediocre at it. So, um, he's heavily damaged by beast fodder. Heavily damaged by beasts. He has a fear of poison. So if the enemy has categories, he could be damaged. If the enemy Relatable. has poison. <laughs> <laughs> I too have fears of poison. Could be a problem. He's enraged by categories, but he's weakened by categories. Well, I get pretty pissed off at uh, giant cats that try to kill me, too. He is fireproof and immune to curse, though, so keep that in mind. All right, all right. I kind of wish I didn't conquer all the captains in the area, because then I could have figured out who he's going to go up against before the arena starts. But, uh, oh, well. That's him, is it? Get ready to die. 41. I don't think you can give me a real challenge. Yet. Okay. I'm a little concerned. The other, the enemy is 41. So my gun shop and home in Fallout 4, not the mod, is now located on a dock and you can go skeet shooting for a fee. I can't, wait, nice. to, oh, it's not in your mod, it's in your, in the, okay. That would have been nice if we were in the mod, but yeah, we all do fun stuff in the game. So the enemy is five levels higher than our guy and he's more of a hands, get his, get his hands dirty kind of guy. So. My, my money is on the other dude. Other guy. Yeah, if I were to bet on the enemy at any point, this would be a good time to do so because it's it's looking like it might not go our way this time. This is the, this is the one time you're gonna bet against the house. R.I.P. Beast Slayer. You think? You think? I don't know. I, I think our guy might still have a chance though. Five level five levels is not that much of a difference. You've overcome bigger odds than that. All in against the house. All in against the house? Boy, no no faith no faith in the crossbow wielders, huh? No, I, I'm I'm not feeling it either. Yeah, I, My I, man's got close quarters combat going on the and shop he's got a range needs weapon. So now. Cazadors. Oh, I gotta keep your shop protected from Cazadors, that's true. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple of people wielding crossbows once or twice, and they lost immediately, so I always have a negative opinion on crossbow wielders when it comes to these kinds of arena fights, but... Completely unrelated, uh, Cazadors reminds me of Cazadors, a absolutely lovely uh, tequila that I like to drink. Oh, well, Cazadores <laughs> is Spanish for hunter. Yes, and it has a uh, it has a stag on the label. It is delicious. All right, all right. 
Well, betting is starting to close up, maybe 30 more seconds, and then we'll take our fight to the arena. We'll see if our guy can shoot a couple of uh, arrows into the enemy and win, or if he'll just be outright murdered by a shield guy, which, you know, he's got a shield, so. I mean, if it's big, thick, heavy bolts, it, it could just plaster him to the arena wall, and then he could just butt stroke him to death. That's true, and whenever I go against the guys with shields, I just shoot him in the leg where it's unshielded anyway, so if our guy is smart enough to figure that out, mm hmm Right now, it's looking like 11,000 on our guy, but 40,000 on the other or so. So, Ooh. five to one against us. Oh, it's like, like three to wow. one against us. Like, yeah. So, let's see what happens. It actually might not go our way this time, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? Butthole. Oh, okay. Yep. He's already down to half health. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, <laughs> this is not. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Almost shot oh, him man. right in the face with the crossbow. If he had gotten that one in on him, yeah, he's done. Oh, lure him towards the yeah, lure him toward the booby trap. Lure him toward the booby trap. Oh, that that's not it. No, that's uh, oh, now he's dead. Oh, 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 oh. Um, oh wow. Crook Beast Slayer did not survive. It did was we kind go of to high school with a kid that looked like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> not that you say that. <laughs> I swear, we. He just looks like a high school bully. Yeah. Get yeeted. <laughs> Get yeeted. All right, congratulations for everyone that bet on the other guy, including you, Arizad. Congratulations. The other guy was indeed the victor this time, which is kind of surprising because I thought I had, like, godly power. I thought everybody worked for me now, but I, I guess not. I guess not. Nope. Roman Leggett, I haven't won one. You bet, <laughs> you bet on the... <laughs> you're betting against the he odds. It's never working in your favor. long <laughs> All right, Pash Foul Spawn. We still need to get at least one more bodyguard following you. How about Mosey Lucky Shot? What are you looking like? What do you like here? Oh, here's another crossbow wheel there, but he's level 47, all right. Okay, I like that, you know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough, because he's a crossbow wielder, but he's level 47. Has no real weaknesses here. He looks, he looks like a power lifter. I think, I yeah. think he's got it. <laughs> it looks like he's here, hand, like holding a barbell in his hand. It's yeah. a crossbow. He's got great strength, so his attacks deal immense damage. Which is strange, because he's just firing a crossbow bolt. Yeah, I mean, a, a good butt stroke can cause a lot of damage. His special ability allows him to fire at enemies at great distances, which is not going to be useful in the arena. Mm -hmm. He becomes enraged when facing you alone. Again, not going to affect anything in the arena. This guy's kind of average. He is beast proof, though. No, he's beast proof. That's like the one thing he brings to the arena is he's unable to be damaged by categories and everything. So that's the one thing he's got. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're going up against. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Still betting against him if he doesn't have an enter rage to make sure he gets off sniper shot. Yeah, if he doesn't have an entourage to protect him, he can't get his sniper shot so in, can what's, he? What's the level of the other dude? We're, we're gonna find that in a second. So we'll start the prediction now. And again, if you're in a place, if you're in a country that doesn't allow betting on this Twitch, I'm sorry, but we're doing a lot of it right now. So Mozu, Mozu's, there, there have been a lot of Mozu's on our teams, and our, our Mozu's have always done well. But there's no guarantee this is going to be the case this time, other guy. He has a pretty gnarly meat cleaver on his hip, so... Our guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's looking kind of gross. Yeah, it, it looks well bloodied and rusty, so at least he can give the other guy tetanus. Zero on Mozu! That's probably fair. So... The other guy is... Ooh. Think you're tough? Does have a tougher. cursed hammer at level 40. With an entourage. Oh, all right. <laughs> no. You've had Mozu's come back from the capitations <laughs> just what to just scream happened? you more, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the mentally broken ones I have recruited. I've kind of set a sentiment in the arena to probably die. <laughs> Jesus, Mike. <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> I can't help it. I like destroying people's brains. It's funny. Oh, God. I've had Mozu's oh, come God. back from decapitations just to scream at me more. I am aware, but this guy is going up against the enemy in the arena with a crossbow. Honestly, it could go either way. I can't say for certain who's going to win this one. I want to say the enemies because he's got the entourage and our guy's got the crossbow. It's not, it's really not been great for crossbow wielders, if I'm being honest. It's really not been great. Not the weapon of choice for uh, hand-to-hand. No. Hand. I don't think the advanced levels the additional levels are going to be enough to combat all the disadvantages he has going into this fight. Right now, we have a lot of people still betting on our guy, though, it looks like. I think. I think this I think this is going to be a good round. It could be. Well, I, I, 
there was one time I started a fight and it died and like it, it was over in five seconds. It like, just brutally got two shotted. So nice. We, you never really know for certain. You're betting a thousand against Mozu. Dang. All right. Well, betting is about to wrap up. Thirty thousand on our guy versus only five thousand other guy. I would really okay. I'm I would I'm actually betting against the majority here. I think the other guy might have a good chance of winning. Our guy has the levels, but he's kind I'm, of at a disadvantage. Me personally, I'm going with the other guy. Yeah. So it looks like. Um, oh, never mind. He's down to half health immediately. Our guy got a shot in on him. Yeah, him. yeah. He's. Or, or did he start with that? Health? I don't know what's up with that. Well, okay. Whoa. The entourage didn't even get a chance to participate. Nope. Oh, never mind. He's going to body slam our guy. But still, our guy's like. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, itchy trigger for your. <laughs> oh. See, okay. the meat cleaver. The meat cleaver. Did our guy not use a crossbow? Our guy just did not use a crossbow. Yeah, he just butt stroked him a couple times. <laughs> and and he, he had pulled. two cleavers. <laughs> See, if I had known he had two cleavers, then I would have been all in for Mozu. Yeah, okay. God I'm, damn, I he got yeeted. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Um, other guy did not win, but the majority bet on our guy, which I was kind of surprised how many bet on him, but yeah. it seems like you guys do better than I do. Mozu, lucky shot. Did his job. Did yeah. it expertly. Yeah. You know, he 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 dispatched that guy kind of like the uh, kind of like the lady in uh, uh, what is it? Um, <laughs> Roman Leggett still has not won one. <laughs> <laughs> he he uh, he did that dude just like the lady in uh, uh, was it the New Colossus? Uh, Wolfenstein. Oh, okay. Yeah, the final the final thing. It's good shit. Cleaver Mog. straight to the face. Mm, we could have Mog, Ratag, Rat Brawler, Archisus, Grog Maker, and... Grog Maker? Grog Maker. Mm. Oh, that's our guy, Rulasu the Herald. Hey, how's it going, Rulasu? How you doing? Not so great today? Womp womp. <laughs> uh, better luck next time. Uh, Snafu the Friendly, level 27. Uh, Snafu the Friendly. <laughs> there is no way he survives if I send him in like this. <laughs> Mortally flammable, can be killed instantly using fire. <laughs> Hold on. He's, he's an actual Brit. <laughs> what kind of marksman doesn't use his crossbow? That's just cheating. The house cheated. Okay, I'm going to have to snap with a friendly go in. All right. <laughs> just for funsies. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you a thing. All right, all right. All right, so right now he's level 27. Snafu. I can give him a little bit of training before I send him in, though. So we'll, la we'll raise him up five levels. So he's at least level 32 for this fight. I'm spending some of my money, my in-game currency, but it's fine. Snuff. I love this guy. Snap with the friendly. You know what? Why don't you get to level 37? There you go. That, that'll be fair. All right. All right. So level 37. Is he still mortally wounded by fire, though? You can be killed instantly using fire. Snuff. So pretty much a Bic lighter can take him out. Yeah. Snuff. Exactly. Yeah. So... Let's see who else. Um, we're also going to give him a, uh, a gang of savages so they can charge into the enemy. All right. All right. All right. So if the enemy has a fire weapon, there's almost no chance our guy survives, but hopefully he has to get through a lot of things to get to him. Give him a fire weapon. Imagine <laughs> the irony. Sounds good to me. Here you go. Have a fire weapon. Wait, is that just for the follower? Okay, there you go. He's got a fire weapon. Ah! Ah! This is a fire! No! <laughs> As long as, as long as it doesn't touch him, it'll be fine, all right? Okay. Roman Leggett thinks Snafu's <laughs> gonna win. Okay, so... Snafu! I don't, I don't think I'm actually gonna show the fight, because if, it, if he's got a fire weapon, then, then everyone's gonna want to bet on the enemy, and they'll all be right, because one shot will win, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to make the bet betting right now. So, let's see, start a prediction. But what are the? Uh, he might have a cursed weapon. He might have nothing on the weapon. He might have a poison. He could have a wide variety of things. I'd say smart money would be on Snafu, but you never know. Roll the dice. It could uh, go the other way pretty quickly. Yeah, he does have a gang of lunatics. So. But look at the hat. How, how can you bet against that hat? Uh, well, it, it worked for the British. Yeah, he's got the hat. He's got the shield. So even if the enemy has a fire weapon, he has to go through that shield, through all the enemies he's bringing, through his own fire weapon. It's going to be tough. Even if he's got a fire weapon, it's going to be tough. You're betting the last year points on Snafu. It's the hat. It's got to be the hat. <laughs> Snafu is going to set himself on fire. <laughs> he's going to trip. <laughs> a thousand on the other guy. All right. All right. Well, we're about to find out. Right now, it's 22 on our guy and 5 on the other. So, a good 5 to 1 odd, I guess. 4 to 1 odds. 
41 odds on our guy. All right. We'll see. The human torch tactic. All right. That's our guy with the fire weapon. What about the, uh, all right, okay, he does not have a fire weapon. The crowd screams Ooh. for you. I will make you scream for them. Level 42, though. Whoa. So five levels Death higher, but doesn't have any followers. You. Oh, he does have followers. Okay. This might be a closer fight than I thought. So our guy will not be instantly, instantly killed, but... Uh, Come on, Snafu. That shield doesn't seem to be protecting him from very much. Yeah. Snafu, you you need to get your shit together, man. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Right now, wait, he's not looking at you. Poke him in the butt, poke him in the butt. Oh. What are you doing? Stop admiring his perfect ass. There you go. Oh, he's enraged by burning. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is uh, going to be a problem. He's on half health still, though. Yeah, with one good hit. And rage isn't exactly always a good thing because you, you can damage your own teammates. Yeah, it's Snafu. It is Snafu. Snafu's rage and rage now, too. <laughs> They're pissed. Why? Why is he in rage? What is he uh, because he's, he's, he was really friendly to him. And now, now, he, uh... He's wanting to share applesauce with you. Come on. His mom packed him extra applesauce to share with friends. Enraged by mortal wounds. That's why. Oh, okay. Or is that, is that the other guy? I don't know. It's, no, he's enraged by burning and enraged by mortal wounds. Oh, and he's down. Okay, he's down. Snafu still wins. Snafu. Snafu. Killed the spy. Or, no, he is the spy. He infiltrated. Good job. <laughs> Gained seven levels. You better give Snafu the fort for this. You really threw him under the bus. <laughs> I did not. I gave him a bunch of stuff to help him out in a fight. It's, it's his own fault for not being strong against fire. That's all. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, sorry, Tactical Valigarmanda, but it was not the other guy who may have hold fire. It was our guy, Snafu, whose name I spelled incorrectly, the Friendly. All right, I think we got at least two more here because we got to infiltrate the other guy. Poor Roman Leggett. So, how about Lorem the Clever? Here we go. Lorem the Clever, he's already got a fire weapon, heavily damaged by beast attacks. He's Soft headed. weak to arrows if they get shot in his head, but that's... Hey, me too, bro. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit of a trickster. Snafu, the French. Snafu, the French. <laughs> Frostproof, curse-proof. He's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Lord. All right, become this guy's bodyguard. Infiltrate. Do it. All right. No. Bruce is going to have the fort whenever he likes it or not. Oh yeah, Bruce. Even I'm or gank free or can agree on it. It has to be Bruce, the guy who doesn't want the fort. You can have the fort. I never wanted the fort. <laughs> hey, thank you for the sub. Oh, Plainy McCare Plain Face. Is that Plainy McCare Plain Face? Thank you for the sub. Welcome. All right, so we'll start. The, we'll, we'll get the prediction started right now. We got. Uh, all right, let's see who's going up against. Betting is open, let's see. You have another 10 points, let's go! <laughs> Whoa. Curse weapon with followers. You, you can have the food. I longer. never wanted the food. The food! Don't make me wait! <laughs> Come get some! Okay, it's actually kind of yeah. equal right now. Yeah. He's got a curse weapon, we've got a fire weapon, he's got followers, we've got followers. Roughly the same level. Can they go into overtime? Uh, no, if it goes into, oh, actually, did it go into overtime last time? I can't remember. There was one fight that went on for quite some time. I think if it's overtime, the guy who's got the most health still wins. Oh, no, it was a draw last time. So I had to refund all those oh. points. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So uh, place your bets now. It's going to be a very fair fight, but based on the track record of our guys, uh, you still probably want to give... I don't know. What What are you feeling, Mike? Odds to our guys. I We, we haven't lost so far, except that one guy who was way under level. Mm -hmm. So aside from that one... It's almost always been our guy who wins. Our odds are always in our favor. Yeah, I I like, think I'm going to go with our guy. Yeah, three to one odds pretty much that we win. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. It would have to be a real upset, which, you know, it could very well be. Oh, he's also a trickster, so there's a lot of guys. Whoa. Oh, ouch. <laughs> so ouch. Who, which one is the real Lorm? Mm, this is what makes him a trickster. Which of, our, which of these guys is the real Lorm? Oh, I, I think the enemy is going to have a problem knows. figuring out which one while he's being body slammed. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting ganged up on. He might be landing a couple hits here and there, and he's got that shield, but that shield only protects him from one or two directions. And there's four or five of our guys. Yeah, yeah, it's all on Worm. Yeah. Worm's got this one. I think the best you can hope for is lasting for two more minutes in the arena and causing a draw. That's like the only thing you can hope for. 
He, he can't focus on one guy because there's there's five enemies. Our guy not only has an entourage, he's yeah, also got yeah. five enemies. And Lorm seems pretty pissed off. Which one though? It's five of them. Uh, I am just Lorm. Lorm. And these well, are my the enemy is fireproof Lorm, though. Lorm, Lorm, and Lorm. <laughs> Lots of Lorms. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's gonna hit in. Yeah, he keeps on getting these solid hits in, but you can't focus on one guy because there's five enemies. Yeah, he's, he's, he's actually lasting quite a bit. I, I admire the Valiant fight he's putting up. I think the fireproof bonus is helping him, but... Oh, oh, oh this is gonna be a brutal one. That's kind of oh! Oh, 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 nice. Zuka nice. the poker did not survive. That's yeah, that was that was definitely a barbed uh, barbed dagger there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you Oof. go. Oh, uh, Roman Leggett. Sorry, Roman Leggett. Roman Leggett oh. lost the ten points. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right. Choose prediction outcome. Let's see who who bet what. Fourteen percent on the other guy. Surprising. Sorry. Nope. He should have quit while he was ahead. Hey. Quirk <laughs> Stonehive. There you go. I look at you. Level thirty-seven. Terrified of nothing that's going to be in the arena. Heavily damaged by beast attacks and a fear of burning. So beasts and burning are a problem. Yeah. But you're poison proof and fire frost proof. Yeah. I don't think there are frost weapons in the game though. Hawk. So I don't think frost proof matters. So bodyguard time. Pork stone hive. Will you win? Let's see. And we'll have the chat right there so people can see it if like. If I ever upload this to YouTube, you can see what people are saying there. There you go. All right. There you go. Let's so, see who our man is. Yeah, what do you guys think? Hmm? What do you guys think? You still don't have points yet. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Roman Leggett. You shouldn't have bet at all against the, the bad, bad, bad odds. It's just not working out in your favor. Are you going to show them or? You're right. I probably should show them. Yeah. Who's yeah. he going up against? Oh, Ooh, he's got a poison, oh. but we are poison proof, aren't we? Yeah. I knock yeah, we you are. down and grind you into dust. 40, level 40 and so are you. Kill you now, do I? Hmm. Scream. Hmm. Mm hmm. hmm. Rough with the um, same level, we're a little under leveled. We're immune to his poison weapon, but he is a big guy. He's We don't have a shield Mike, too. Mike, Mike, he's fucking huge. Yeah. Like I I'm thinking the other guy. <laughs> I gotta go with the other guy. Yeah, he's it's, it's man versus skyscraper. Who's gonna win yeah, there? Pretty much. He's <laughs> he's going squish. You're betting on the Olog with the drip? Mmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe betting has ended, so it's time for us to see what happens. Let's watch this play out. The categories could help. That is true. He does have categories. Ah, but the enemy's got a gang of... Yeah, those guys right there. So he's gonna be... Oh, he's actually down to half health. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, he's not doing so well against the categories. He himself maybe reached the category attacks. Yeah. Oh, and the game's lagging a little bit. It was it was building up suspense. That's what it was doing. It was building up suspense. Or rigging the fight. I don't know. Yeah, he's just ignoring the enemies that are poking him with sticks right now. Yeah, the skyscraper, it's coming down. Oh! Spear to the face. Stop more spears to the face. Stop. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Oof. 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 Hork Stonehive wins! Wow. Oh shit, thankfully you didn't high. bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, gained seven levels from that. Wow. Alright, we got time for one more, I think. Holy that was crazy. Shit. Congratulations. Wow, a lot of people bet on question mark guy. Look at that. 89 to 11 percent Wow. Wow, whoever bar bet on Hork Stonehive really made out well in the end, didn't they? Yeah, no kidding. And uh Roman Leggett, what, what what did you bet on? He still lost. Still, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh. All right, we got one more guy. Uh, hopefully this is a success. Um, oh, oh, Mog Bone Crusher's blood brother died in the arena. I sent his blood brother in there and he died. Oh, oh. now he's alone. All right, Crip Map Keeper. The Marauder Assassin, huh? How about that? A vulnerable to execution. Okay, he's sickly. Heavily damaged by poison. They are rebooting Birdman, I don't know why. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, Birdman was a good show. So Harvey, Harvey Birdman? Yeah, Harvey, yeah, Harvey Birdman. Harvey Birdman. Birdman. Attorney Birdman. at law. BG, you look absolutely gotta go. <laughs> so he's weak to fire and poison. Both are bad. That's not hey, great. Me too. 
Yeah. These sporks, <laughs> they're so relatable. But he is immune to curse, and he's beast proof. So, coin flip, depending on... Oh, he's got a poison weapon, too. Interesting. He's got a uh, frontline warrior bonus. Eh, he's agile, nimble, dodgeable. Okay, he's got a gang of Ologs, too. Those big guys. Yes. I dig it. All right, all right. Let's Creamp. see. Cream. Infiltrate. Wish and... I had me a gang of Ologs. Yeah. Then no one's going to be picking on me, taking my lunch money. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> Dangly parts. Dangly parts. <laughs> Stephen Colbert was great in that. Is he going back as a boss? I hope so. Crimp map keeper. All right, all right. Let's start a new prediction here. A big ol' ooh, sick yeah, guy. The orcs are not relatable. They're savages, savages, fight. not even human now here as they sound 43, the drum. Now I can do this all day. 43 with the gang of orcs. Okay, okay. So our guy's got a poison weapon. It looks like the other guy's got an immunity to that because he's been d dipping himself in poison for a long time, building up tolerance to it. <laughs> he's got his own gang, but we've got a gang of Ologs and a poison weapon. Odds are still going to be for our guy, I think. I think our guy still has the best chance, best odds here. Uh, that dude, that dude can't see through the acne on his face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, his, it's, it's, it's not acne. Eyes. It's, it's not acne. It's festering wounds. Okay, get it right. I know, and it's in his eyes. <laughs> I, he ain't going to hit shit. You think so, but you don't, you don't. My money's on the house. He's, he's big enough. He can just swing randomly and still hit things, you know. <laughs> but he's that guy. Well, we'll see. Is he thinking, oh, he's already dazed, but the fight hasn't even begun. That's yeah, because he can't see. <laughs> My guy can't even get up there. Come on, come on. Oh man, the, the enemy is getting dazed a lot. What's he, what's he getting dazed by? Is it, is, is the it? freaking fast stream. I think we used to that by now. He's, oh, he's also got bulls on his body. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Our guy can't get a hit in edgewise. He's like, come on, guys, make room for me. I want to participate in the fight. Come on, mom said I can play. Guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play on this side then. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's a good, oh, yeah. Why is there a spear in my leg? I can't fight. There's a spear in my leg. <laughs> He's just dodging all around. I'm not actually participating in the fight. Well, there you go. Oh, Backstab. Oh, oh. Ooh, right in the kidneys. All right, now he knows you're here. Oh, uh, now he's going out against this guy. You're not going to get points going up against that guy, buddy. Oh, Biff. Yeah, uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, once again, house wins. Arhisu of Arhisu. the stench. All right, go other guy. Nope, other guy did not win this time. Oh, my lord, two shot. Kind of, yeah. He was weakened by... Uh, Everything else too. He's really just the coach in this fight. I uh, I guess he, that guy was yeah. Okay, so it was actually kind of even 50-50, 57-43. Uh -huh. A lot of you guys bet on that guy incorrectly though, because we won again. Roman Leggett again. <laughs> again, yeah. <laughs> All so, right. So Roman Leggett, I I think. <laughs> what? Hey, do you ladies, mind? ladies and gents, if you want to uh, if you want to win, just uh, pay attention to what Roman Leggett is apparently. <laughs> bet <betting laughs> bet against on. him, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got three bodyguards for both these guys. All right, we got three bodyguards for both these guys. All right, let's see what else we got. Command Mog. U to protect that guy. Uh, oh, you're doing that? All right. Um, Grog. You can, can no one become his bodyguard? What's going on here? You're already there. You're there. You're not doing anything. Shock. Protect this guy. What are you guys doing? What you guys doing? Okay, fine, whatever. Um, I believe it's time. I believe it's time to go after the warlord. So all the fun betting on orcs is done. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Chris Elbecker says he's got 15,000 points back. He's so happy. Congratulations, everybody who won. <laughs> and if you lost, I, I hope you at least had fun. You, you won eight goddamn points on huh? nuts. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's been a lot of fun. Now we're going to actually get in the fight here. So we, we could go after the war chiefs, but instead we're just going to begin the siege. We're going to siege this fortress and take it for ourselves. Um, Sounds good to me. Where, where's the quest? Not, not, not the actual quest. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm here for the carnage. All right. Well, we, we've already seen a lot of it. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. I want more. I may just go home and buy this game. <laughs> it's actually got pretty cheap. It's been out for a couple years. When it first came out, it was actually like heavily laden with microtransactions, and they took it out about a year later. So it's actually a really good. good game now. It's a really fun game. What is it? What's it called again? Shadow of War. Shadow of Technically, it's called Middle Earth Shadow of War. Okay, okay. Being the Lord, the Lord of the Rings game it is. The two of us sounded like fight announcers. It was fun to spectate, I will not lie. 
All right, there was a mission start point. We're gonna begin the mission. Are you ready for this epic battle? I am. I'm here for it. Oh, look, that guy's getting murdered over the background. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, not really our problem. <laughs> not my problem. Keep All right, walking. here we go. Gorgoroth. That one war chief. Let's see. I can't see his bonuses. Look, he's got a cursed weapon. No, he's got a poisonous weapon. The war chief has a poisonous weapon, and three out of his five war chief bodyguards are under my control. Hmm. So we can all see what I you like those odds. Yeah. Curious question. Of you do decide to play the Baroner campaign, would you even consider trying it on Grave Walker difficulty? Baronor, the Baronor campaign is uh, is the one where you're playing as a human that can die because he doesn't have a ghost partner, right? I don't know if I want to play that on the hardest difficulty, but I'd at least give it a try. It could be fun. Uh, you have empty slots in your assault force. Okay, we gotta upgrade our, our fortress. So we can actually, oh yeah, put followers here. Who's not in a battle? Okay, Mog Bone Crusher, you're joining me in the fight. There you go. Everybody that's not like betraying the war chief, join me. We need an entire army for this assault. Now this is gonna be an epic fight. Tugog the commander. Let's see who else. Nazu the judge. A few more, a few more. We got uh Man, our names are our, our names are so lame. <laughs> yes, Skun the Savage, yeah. Sappers and Siege Beasts upgrades FTW. Sappers and Siege Beasts, okay, and Flame Monger, there we go. So a few more things we can buy here, because we got, I have 52,000 points, we could buy a lot of stuff here for the assault. Not that we need it, because a, uh, a lot of things are already under our control. We have Mounted Cavalry, an army of Olag High. Sappers, the attacking army is strengthened with a group of explosive sappers who charge the fortress gates. If that's what you want, Boosie Pander will bring them. I like it. The attacking armor is bolstered with savages, axe wielding shock troopers, or shield wielders, or spear users. I like the spear users. They're, they're not great in the arena, but they are really good in the uh, out in the open. Fiery siege beasts attacking fields. Uh, the attacking army fields siege beasts that rain fiery destruction on the fortress walls, and the archers atop them, or poisonous ones or cursed ones. Well, cursed really only against us, so probably not that. What do you think, Kirk? Poisonous or fire? Fire. Fire. All right, good. I like fire. It's also cheaper, so we'll go with fire. Shelob's blood. Clusters of deadly spiders swarm the fortress, poisoning and panicking the defenders. I like that. <laughs> yes. All right. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> swarming spiders? Archers ignite you automatically their arrows. win. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got fire, poison spiders, and then we got fire archers. Spears. I mean, wow. Mounted archers. Mounted archers. That's That's pretty deadly. I don't know, I don't know. They're already going to be pretty devastating. They don't really need a mount. Although fire arrows are pretty good too. Alright. Yeah. I think we'll get one more upgrade. So inspired orcs enter a bloodthirsty rage, attacking with increased ferocity. Oh, they can put down banners and fight harder. Oh, that's what you want. That's what you want to bring into battle, right? Inspiring yep. banners. Yep. Or attacking orcs capture victory points much faster. I'll be down there capturing victory points. It won't be necessary. We'll bring inspiring banners. Alright, alright. I like it. You want to have a bet on who will win this? <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you want to. Um, what do you think, Kirk? Should we get one more like bonus to uh, archers? Which one do you want? You said you like the mounted archers? Yeah, mounted mounted archery throughout history has proven to be decisive in battle. I don't know if they've programmed the Mongolians into this game, but we'll have to see. They should. <laughs> Can you order cavalry categories? Um, I think you may have been able to do that earlier. And you could summon dragons and Grog, who didn't choose their options. Yeah, other forget things. the dragons. Spiders, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, spiders. Swarms, definitely spiders. Swarms of spiders. Also, they're cheap, so, you know. Yeah. All right, if you if you, you want to bet it all in the fort, huh? All right, we'll make you do a prediction. Um, if, if, I di if I die the first time, we'll consider that a loss for me and a victory for them. Does this game have mods? I don't think it does. If it was, if it did, I would probably want to rename all of my orcs fancy fun names. So that, there you go, last prediction of the day. My money's on us. You think? Honestly, last time I died for about an hour straight trying to conquer the fortress. Okay. okay. But I also didn't have this much preparatory work going into it, so I think our odds are better this time. All right. So, yeah, let's begin, I think. We got everything, we've got all these upgrades on our yeah. side, yeah, and nice. we have a bunch of his war chiefs on our side, and the ones that aren't on our side have bodyguards of their own that are gonna betray them as soon as the fight begins. So yeah, I feel like- I Yeah, feel like he's going down. Yeah. He's going down. It won't be difficult to get into the fort. Once we're in the fort, it might go south. All right. Cause I might right. lose all my pro, I might lose all my followers and I might have to fight 50 enemies at once. 
They're like, oh shit, we're they, not going in there. Yeah, they might just kind of screw me over there. We'll have to see. All right, so I guess let's begin. The one channel you can't bet in. Sorry, Rob. This is our army. Look at our army. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> you ready to take this fort? I'm ready to take this fort. <laughs> There's a fair-skinned man walking amongst the orcs. <laughs> yep. Fun fact. The parting shot traces its origin That's to the Parthians that, who were renowned for feigning retreat from hard. horseback then imaging the enemy with bows when they took chase. Ooh. Ooh. Parthians sound pretty smart. Yeah. Here's the enemy. Oh, no. What? Oh, that's not our guy. It's not. No. Okay. Who is that? This glob here knows all my secrets. Who is that? Okay. And he's just dying to whisper them in your ear. Oops. Who? Wait, who is that? Which one of my, which one of my guys are you killing? Jeez. <laughs> Threk, no! Oh, that was one of our war chiefs! That war chief, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Look at our fortress. Does this look like a place that will take your assault lightly? Your bodies will quiver in pain upon our walls. <laughs> your deaths will be slow. I like this. And we will relish every second. Need to get to hear what the GAC found out. All this talk <laughs> about pain. Let's see if they can take as good as they give. Probably had some dirty secrets. Would have been fun to know that. Oh well. No mercy! Yeah, there we go. Watch him fake death and come back. He might. A lot of them have faked death in the past. All right. Capture four victory points and then assault the fortress. All right. Let's go. 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 Um, these guys are all on our side. Oh, they've already breached the perimeter. Excellent, excellent. In we go, in we go. Yeah, it was those, uh, sappers. There we go. And, um, capturing this right now. There we go. We're all taking this right there. Good. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Hey, can you guys cover my back a little more, please? Thank you. <laughs> that could have gone south immediately. I gotta pay attention. I can't, okay. I gotta roll around a bit more. It's fun that way. People betting against me aren't exactly wrong. <laughs> okay. Roman Leggett's pretty happy at the moment. <laughs> We've captured the first point at least. No, Tugog, the complainer is bled out. I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, he, did not, he did not survive the assault. Some of these orcs aren't going to make it, sadly. All right, bodyguard. Category. I should have summoned you guys to begin with. Let's go. Next capture point. Capture point B. Here we are. That's all, that's my guy. Probably should, probably should not hit him with the freaking Yeah, player. yeah, don't do that. Oh! The Black Lord will never know of the Overlord's secret collection of Q-Turret twins. <laughs> could not have gone better, my lord. A brilliant stratagem by a brilliant man. Thank you! If you will pardon my farming. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Rob says, great, the complainer died. Now we complain about something else now. He's, now we have something else to complain about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got two down. Two down, two to go. Ouch! It's fine, I'm fine. I gotta clear the way, clear the way for my guys to get out here. Uh, oh, my, the bone crusher is waiting. These guys are not surviving. This is a no. brutal assault. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I'm gonna have to get off my beast and get some health because we're taking a little bit of damage here. Nope, not that guy. The guy was on fire, yes. Oh, is that my guy? No, it's not. Kill him. Murder him, Dan. Yeet. All right, oh. Hey, Category, come over here. Where you at? Come here. Only one more chief remains. Only one more? All right, capture point C is over here. Oh, who's retreating over here? Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. One of the war chiefs, I guess, or something left out. That's fine. It's fine. All right, is a all right. Ready to capture. You've captured point C now. Nice. The army is actually doing very well, even though we've lost a couple. We had a couple casualties. Yeah, we've got a lot of people on our side for this fight, though. And we're helping them out a little bit here and there. Choppy, choppy. Little stabby, stabby. Take the arena. The arena is ours, boys. We've been here before. We know what we're doing. Yeet. All right, all capture points belong to us now. Nice. 
whole rock. <laughs> you should have seen the look on their faces. They couldn't believe I sabotaged their fortress. Uh, I should probably help the people that are bleeding out. Oh, it's Takuga, Grog Burner. The enemy. Oh, enemy war chief here. Sakuga. A gift from the bright lord. Yes, betray him, clever lord. <laughs> okay, he's kind of being overwhelmed right now. We gotta help him. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to. We could probably just conquer the fort and be done with it. Um, capture the inner victory point. Oh, I gotta go in the inner victory point. Okay. Yeah, can we, um, we having trouble getting in there, guys? What's going on? We gotta break, we gotta breach the perimeter somehow? I, I don't know what's going on. Right, I gotta, I'm gonna get off this horse. Uh, we're gonna scale it? We're gonna manually scale it? Okay, fine. Pardon me, excuse me. I'm out of here. Cause some chaos by dropping some meat, which is Bring us a couple of wild beasts in while we're doing this fight. Nice. Um, oh, there's someone broken over here. I can probably break them. Excuse me, I kind of want to get this guy. I have no idea what's going on. It is a lot of chaos. <laughs> um, random guy. Yes, congratulations. You're on our team now. Your captain with the sappers died, so they couldn't explode the fortress doors. I'd assume. Oh, interesting. All right, so we just in the middle of the fight, we got this guy on our side. And this point is now captured. All right, this is gonna be a tough one. End of the fort and try and take it down. Nice job recruiting my own dude, is that what I did? All right. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is the part where I'm gonna die. This is the part where Gash is probably gonna kill me. I don't think I can come, I can't summon I mean, any bodyguards. His name is Gash. He's gonna cause to be on my body. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to be very careful. I don't have any last chances too. If he hits me down once or twice, I'm pretty much screwed. I'll admit it. I'm glad you reached the heart of my fortress. Now I'll get the pleasure of dismantling you personally. The pleasure will be all mine. Yeah, this mic. Okay, I don't know. <sighs> first on, first get try. This, get this hot dog neck, motherfucker. First try though, I don't know. I'll do my best. Okay, so I've got that one guy right there. Oh yeah, we've got these guys here. All right, all right. So we got a few people on our side. Um, anybody else? Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this guy on my side quickly. Get him on my side if I can. Nope, never mind. He's dead. Nope. Um, I think I saw someone throwing spears at me. Our guy is starting to get dazed here. I'm gonna throw some fire arrows, some fire daggers at these guys. Try to hurt him a little bit. Yeah, it's not really working like I hope it would. Well, okay. I'm gonna try and I want I want to recruit one of these guys, but there's too many enemies here. All right. Okay. I'm gonna clear him out a little bit. Uh, I feel, I feel like that guy's not gonna survive very long, sadly. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I feel like these guys are infinitely infinitely spawning, and there goes the one guy on my side here. Yeah, he's getting killed in a very brutal manner. Oof. There goes Grog Maker. Gash killed him. Yeah, I think there's an infinitely spawning amount of these guys, which is gonna make my life really difficult. Well, Mike. Uh... Also, there's poison pits in the middle of this. It's very odd. Okay, if I if I can just finish this guy off. If I can just do this several times. I'm gonna focus on this. Okay. Oh, I get hit by poison. Oh, I get hit by poison. Oh, I get hit by poison. Oh, that's that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. There's a guy over there I can get. Hold on. If I can get this guy nice and quick. Come on, come here. Okay, I, I didn't have enough time. I wanted to get to him, but I didn't have enough time. This guy. Yes. All right, we got him. We got our health back. No, not you. This guy right here, though. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> Sometimes the camera's a little, my, one of my greatest enemies. Woo. All right, I, I knocked him down a bit. Ground execution, combat execution, if he's not immune to it. Good, good. Throw a dagger at him, get out of the poison, get out of the poison. Poison's gonna come out of this. Hold on, hold on. Some guy's throwing daggers at me. I don't know where from though. Up there, up there. Can I get, can I climb up there to get to him? I might be able to. There we go. Yeah, it'll be good to have you on my side. Oh, no, no, uh, no. never mind. <laughs> just, I'll just take your life force. How about you? You want to join me? He, he does not want to join me. I, I think I have the perk no. disabled right now. <laughs> All right, fine, never mind. 
Oh, avoid the poison. Yeah, not recommended. All right, now they're coming down here to fight me. Throwing crap at me. Two out of 10 would not recommend the poison. Not my favorite way to go. All right, cross the poison. Get this guy. Yeah, it's the bodyguards that are the real problem here. I can deal with this guy. Okay. I can deal with this guy easy enough, but it's the bodyguards that are really going to be the problem. Uh, the po I, I hate rolling with the poison pits. I'm, I'm also out of focus. I can't really get my stamina back fast you know, enough. I'm, I'm not talking much right now. This is really tense. I, I'm at the edge of my seat. <laughs> okay, before I do anything, hold on. I'm going to just quickly change up my skills. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I can't, I can't talk. Roman Leggett's uh, cheering against you here. Of course he is. <laughs> Okay, it, I want to be able to drain enemies and get them on my side. We'll do that. Good, good, good. And now this guy should be able to be recruited in the middle of the fight. Now he'll fight for us and shoot at the enemy, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Is there any other? Oh, there is another enemy over here. Great, great. Nope, you joined me too. All right. Together we face doom. See those guys down there? I want you to shoot arrows at them non-stop, like until they're dead, okay? I don't want to participate in this fight. That guy's actually, he's back to full health. Oh shit. <laughs> what the hell? Oh God, poison. Hey, are you immune to poison? I don't know if you are or not. I, get, I just have to focus this guy down. I can't let him generate his health. Throw a dagger at him. Okay, I can't jump over him anymore. He's adapted to that technique. Uh, can I pin him? Yes, I can. So I can at least shoot him in the leg. That's good. I still can't vault over him, though, sadly. Come on, Mike. I'm trying. Ooh. Good stabby. He's, it's tough because he's got... Okay, I, I, I say it again, but he's, he keeps on adapting to all my techniques, and he's also got these minions. Okay. Oh, shit. He hasn't adapted to that part yet, though. Okay. Jumping over them is my go-to strategy. And the fact that it's not working is really causing me problems here. Have you tried going around instead of going over? That, uh, that That's a smart thing to do, but it's just not my muscle memory. Oh, okay, I can shoot him in the head with arrows. I can do that. He, he hasn't adapted to that yet. And he's back at full health. How does he do this? What the heck? All right. Nope. I think I had Elven Light available. Can I do that, please? I'd like to do Elven Light. Yep. I don't see the available. It's not available anymore, sadly. Hmm. Yeah, he keeps on regenerating his health, sadly. I'm not entirely sure why. Whoopsies! Ah, oh, you landed on the poison! I. Come on. Oh, he's standing on the poison pipe! There you go. Uh, I'm charging to him! There you go! Come on, Mike. Nope, nope. I just have to focus him down, I guess. What caused him to regenerate all his health immediately? I have to figure that out so I don't accidentally do that. Uh, the Great Sun thinks it's the distance from him. Okay, so I don't run away from him. I have to stay near him or else he's going to regenerate his health. Okay! Oh. It says A, I hit A, but that caused me to jump over him and that, uh, it's not good. Okay, I can't throw a dagger at him anymore. He's adapted to that technique. You tried an arrow? Uh, I'm out of arrows right now. Okay. Nope. Okay. Um, what if? Nope. I want to climb up. I'm trying to. I'm trying to avoid him. <laughs> I'm just trying to go away. All right. Grab those arrows. Grab those arrows over here, and then run back quickly so we don't regen all his health. He's he's got all his health back. Crap. Jeez. I can't do anything, can I? Avoid that if can I can. Do his uh, do his bodyguards regenerate? They, they keep on respawning. Okay. Oh boy. Roman <laughs> Leggett's pretty happy right now. Yeah. Oh. It's so tough. It's so tough. Oh, I'm cursed now. I'm cursed. I'm losing health. Oh, oh great. Are my guys still shooting arrows down? It feels like they're not. No, I think they're dead. Oh, boy. I want to get somebody's health, please. Okay, good, good. All right, you fight for me now. 
Okay, here's a new strategy. Instead of fighting him myself, I'm just gonna recruit all these guys yeah. to fight for me. That's the, that's the strategy right here. That this is yep. the strategy. Whoa. No, I dodged that one. That could have been fatal. How about this guy? Can I get this guy fast enough? Nope. Yeah, dodging. All right, good, good. There you go. There you go. All right, he's distracted right now. All right, this guy right here, big guy. Come on, big guy. No, does not want to be climbed over. <laughs> Oh, okay. Throws me in the fire pit. That's fine. This guy's charging at me. Okay, okay. Can you uh, can you recruit some big guy? I'm trying to, but he's not uh, showing weaknesses right now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. How about this guy? Can I get this guy? There we go. Yeah. For some reason, the big guy's not choosing to attack me, which I'm totally down for. Oh no! Okay. I, w I held out a little too long that time. Okay, we are still getting arrows coming down. Are you about to actually die? I, I, if I get hit by one straight arrow, I probably will. Uh, now he's chasing me! Now he's chasing me! Oh shit. Now he's kind of pissed. Get some health back nice and quick. Okay. We're back in the saddle. So, I thought you recruited those guys, though. Did they die or something? I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I guess I just Oh, getting, looks like some of them are battling. They're just getting overwhelmed. It feels like... Come on. They're, they're, they're dying faster than I can recruit them, it feels like. I'm trying my hardest to keep you guys alive, but man, it ain't easy. Okay, it's kind of working out now. They got five guys under my thrall. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one! Oh, I don't have enough time, do I? Nice. Oh, I did! Barely enough time! Nice. nice. Alright, you get out of here. You, you dead. Okay, okay. I think we might have this. Okay. Okay, got him off guard. Got him off guard. Knock him down a bit. Execution move on him. Shard. Oh! That, that was... That's, po the, po uh, that's uh, the poison weapon he has is really devastating. Hey, Mike. The guy's puking. Yeah, what's up? Don't die. I'm trying not to. I'm really trying not to. Is that guy throwing arrows? Yeah, Hold yeah. On. You got a new guy up there. Ah, oh. uh, okay, okay. Where, Get where up is there? It? Get up there. Get up there. Recruit. Yo, what up? Thanks for shooting arrows at me. Thank you. I need your health, though. Thank you for that. No, but now, I, now he's back to full health. He's dead. Finally. The big guy is dead. Ooh, shit. Oh, no. Like a, a straight... Chain hit me, I guess. I, I think I'm down here. Oh, last chance. That was my one gimme. My one mulligan. Hey, I, I've got a lot of my dead enemies here. A lot of my dead uh, people that I've brainwashed. They're not surviving for very long, are they? Okay. Okay, I don't have time for this. I have. To, I actually have to just go fight this guy. Yeah, there's another one. All right. I, I just have to fight these guys. Oh, boy. Fight these guys and occasionally cry and get some health back. Uh, all right. Nice. Mm, oh, he's been cursed. Yeah, that I have. I'm losing health fast. Hey, is that true? That's Ya Boy Thin Member. Thank you, Ya Boy Thin Member, the 10 gifted subs as I struggle not to die here. Very kind Where's of Zach you. with grenade support? Uh, if only, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to pin this guy. I can't get to him! I don't want to be the guy, but sometimes it hurts watching you play, Mike. I, I believe it. There's probably actual strategies that I'm supposed to be using, I just don't know what they are. Uh, thank you for the poison. Thank, thank you for the poison. This would probably go a lot faster if I knew what I was doing, but sadly... Oh my god! <laughs> that was close. It says you can summon them, apparently. Oh, it says I can. Oh, you're right. It can. I didn't see the prompt for a second. I thought I didn't oh. have the ability. All right. Can they actually get through that closed door? Use your shadow strike, oh. Mike. All right. Thank your you. Shadow okay, there's Bruce, my bodyguard. Oh, but Bruce is going to die. I don't want Bruce to die, though. That's the thing, though. I, I don't want Bruce to die. Bruce has to be the war chief here. Okay, we're actually making progress, though, so that's good. Oh, and... okay. 
kind of injured. Get back on your kitty cat. I think the kitty cat just taking fights. Oh, okay. The kitty cat doing his own thing is probably for the best. Uh, I like being so exposed. Whew, whew. Dodge that. Yeah, Bruise is actually putting some hurt on this guy. Good, good. Come on, Bruise. This guy. Oh, dodge this guy. No, oh, nope. It's tough. Yeah, you guys keep busy. You guys keep. Oh, come on. You guys. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, unless, shit. unless Bruce saves my life here, I think I'm screwed. Yo, oh, well, who's this guy? Nice. Pork Stone Hive? What? I got the killing blow. What? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Looks like I oh. win! I oh, win! No. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this game is unpredictable. I love it. <laughs> I called out. <laughs> oh wow! First try. The end is within our grasp. We have shown the Hork, Dark Lord Hork, our Hork, strength! Hork. Yes, Hork! We have taught him the folly of challenging us! Now he knows that the Bright Lord and his army will not be stopped! Mordor will I can't get any wins. The strategy was to die the entire time. <laughs> you love how he said, you're cutting it close, boss. I was! I definitely was. I almost got him. It's the minions, though. The minions keep on doing me in. But I'm, I'm so grateful he showed up! I, I am shocked. <laughs> I thought that was it. I know. I honestly thought that was the end for me too. Wow. You still think I should make Bruise Overlord? I don't know. Hork may have earned that right there. <laughs> Killing the Overlord himself. Wow. Uh, promote wow. to Overlord. Well, Bruise level 40, fiery warmonger tank. He betrayed me once, but he's proven himself again. Is, is Hork even part of my army? There he is. Hork Stonehive. Man, I love this guy. I love this guy, but seeing as how um, Bruce is a bit insane, I don't know if I should make him the leader. Yeah. I, I think, I, honestly, uh, it's gotta be Hork because he saved my ass there. It's gonna be Hork. Yeah. But don't worry, Bruce can serve as like, his second in command. Sorry, I was I was gonna make it uh, Bruce, but after that, it's gotta be Hork, right? It's gotta be Hork. It has to be. Promote him. Lifesaver, I found a way in, boss! The door was locked, but they let up the window unlatched. Wow. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah. That was seriously intense. I, yeah, as I was saying, I am playing on technically the hardest difficulty, so one yeah. shot pretty much does me in. So yeah, there we go. Admit it, Mike, it was your plan all along. I had no idea what was going to happen. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, who predicted that I would get my ass saved by a random guy? who Three of you bet on Gash the Corruptor. Sorry. It looks like Talion <laughs> and Ghost Friend and also Orc Buddy is the victor. All right, the pain. Can't believe you got faded like that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Roman like it is. <laughs> oh. oh, poor guy. If you poor have a gambling guy. addiction, please consult your local authorities on, on uh, people who know how to fix that. <laughs> that was close. It was. Man, it that was, was so that fun. That was ridiculously close. All right, so. Mike, this has been a treat. It has, yeah. So this is my, this is, <laughs> We did. We have just taken over Gorgoroth. There we go. Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth. That All army right. is now um, there. Uh, previously, we took over this place. Muzu the Vicious is the overlord there. All right. All right. What else do we have? We got. Oh, we still have to do this place eventually. I'll we'll probably do this next over the next couple of weeks. We got to take out Maku the Block and his four friends over there. That's. I, I think. I think this might be the optional area. Is it? Hold on. Is it? Uh, oh, Lithlad. No, I think we actually do have to conquer Lithlad. That might be mandatory. Um, and this is the final place. Yeah, the Witch King of Angmar. We'll have to go for him last. Ooh, the Witch King. Um, oh, this place we have to take over too, I think. Sirith Ungol, yeah. So we have to take down Borgu the Maggot and his three friends there. That should be easy enough. Although, um, one of, the, one of his minions is called Ishmaz the Gold Thief. And I know he's killed me already because he's level 57. Oof. Um, but yeah, there's, I think there's at least two more fortresses we have to take over before we go for this final one. And then maybe another optional one. So I'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks. It's only a gambling addiction <laughs> if you lose. Yeah. Hello, police! I was robbed of a rightful victory! <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. 
You gotta account for the unaccountable. Predict the unpredictable. Expect the unexpected. It has, but it, we're gonna wrap things up for the night. But it has been fun. Thank yeah, you for joining this, me, Kirk. This has been a blast. Uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'm I'm gonna have to get this game. Yeah, you like, think this so? This looks like a uh, hell of yeah, a lot of fun. It is. The first game is called Shadow of Mordor, and I played that game a lot. It's a uh, probably yeah. an easier one, a bit more story things to it. Okay. Um, there are there is some. Yeah, I think if you want to play Shadow of War, playing the first one is great because there are some characters that come in from the first game into the second game. Some really okay. fun characters. Um, yeah, it's not cheap. It's a fifty-dollar game still. Uh, with the Shadow of War, it's still fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess you have to wait for a sale. Thing, That's yeah. crazy. Huh. It's been out for a few years, I think. So well, maybe it's only been out for two years, but still, fifty bucks is still pretty kind of pricey. Lith Lithiad is optional. Okay, good to know. The first game was trash. The first game cannot be trash because because the first game had Ratbag, and Ratbag is awesome. <laughs> Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is seven ninety nine. Huh? There you go. Let's start off yeah. with that one. Wait there for Shadow of War to become cheap again. All right. All right. Sorry, Roman. The house cheated again. How is it cheating? It's, the house. Got, the house got assistance. Wins. Yeah, the house always gets its money's worth. Steam had a sale on the first game a few days back. It's still pretty cheap right now, though. So that's what I would start with. Yeah. yeah. Even if you don't know anything about Lord of the Rings, like me, I'm completely clueless on this game. The, the whole lore and everything. Uh, Doesn't it's, matter. Uh, it's pretty. Have you have you not watched the movies? I've not watched the movies, read the books, see, seen any of The whoa, Hobbit or anything. Whoa, dude, I need to have you over and we need to watch Lord of the Rings. That could be fun, but yeah. I honestly have not seen, like, there's so many things that I haven't watched because I don't watch movies. I haven't yeah. seen any of the Austin Powers movies oh, or man, those Back are... to the Future, James Bond. I've never seen any of these movies. Holy crow. So right at the beginning of quarantine last year, uh, my wife and I and uh, my brother-in-law, we watched the entirety of James Bond. Like, oh yeah, every... all seventeen movies. Then you mentioned that. Yeah, Truth no, is, I think the game like was rigged from the start. <laughs> yeah, ring a ding ding, ding baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we we watched from uh, from like Doctor No all the way to uh, uh, what's what's the latest one, Spectre. Doctor Octopus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, I'm a little uh, behind. I don't know. We we watched them all in uh, theatrical release order, including the uh, the one unofficial one. All right, but uh, then we followed up with Austin Powers, and it was uh, pretty spectacular. Oh, you followed, you watched all the James Bond, and then Austin Powers followed up. Nice. Yep, yep. Because we, uh, we did a double header movie night uh, every Friday night. Austin Powers is a parody of those movies, isn't it? Yes, a yeah. fabulous parody. Excellent. So, and they're they're so they are so memeable. I just don't watch movies very often. That's all. That's my thing, though. Don't mind me. I'm just going around gathering random collectibles and. Increasing my points. Red. Chain us together and force us to watch all the classics. Yeah, we don't have we don't have enough months in the year. You guys want to see more videos from my channel? I can't do it if I'm wa busy watching these three-hour movies. I can't watch Lord of the yeah, Rings. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to do Lord of the Rings though. It's it is a classic because uh, you know those books they they are just absolute seminal. The chronology of the series is supposed to be the Hobbit. Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War, then Low TR. Uh, see, I'm already playing them out of order because I already I, okay, I didn't okay. see the Hobbit, sadly. Hmm. There are online fight pits we could do. Yeah, those are optional things. I have not done a whole lot of them online fight pits. So it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like a really grotesque Pokemon. <laughs> a grotesque Pokemon. That's fun. <laughs> Send one of your followers to the fight pits and gain power and glory if he survives. Yeah, we're not gonna do that right. We're, we're gonna wrap things up for now. It's been fun. Yeah, definitely. We have a lot of fun. Lord of the Rings is something you're not passionate about at all, but the films are pretty good, just extremely yeah. long. Yeah, they're they are fun. Uh, they're good movies. Um, I have read The Hobbit. I actually have the Lord of the Rings trilogy, all in these nice small leather bound uh, uh, leather bound box sets that I gotta I gotta get on reading them here because I really did enjoy The Hobbit. It was a fantastically good read. All right. But uh, I have to say, the book would not make for a good movie at all, and The Hobbit, the three uh, three movie series, uh, would not have made for a good book. Oh, did, did okay. <laughs> they're pretty they're pretty far removed from uh, each other, but except for some main main themes. All right, so, all right. But both of them, I think, were outstanding works. Well, I will definitely have to check out those things eventually, like yeah. thirty years from now, when I can't play video <laughs> games anymore. Then I'll have all these great movies to play later. It looks like Zach is going live, so he's streaming right now too. So, will we, have you ever done a raid, Kirk? I have not done a raid. But, All right. Uh, if we're raiding uh, Zach, I I think uh, 
it's got to happen. All right. <laughs> Let's, so we'll just click raid channel. And there is Zach. He's currently got zero viewers. So we'll, we'll wait for a second. We'll just wait for a second. Uh, let's let's be the first viewer. Yeah. Just be pop in there and be like, "What's up, loser?" Sure. Hey, what's up, Zach? <laughs> Are you doing random number generation again? Because that's what he's been doing the last couple of streams. He just goes on a random number generator and goes, "Oh, look at that number. That's a big number." <laughs> I do. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I may be oversimplifying what he's been doing. <laughs> Classic Zach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're rating Zach. If you want to join us, here we go. Also, yep. you want to follow it? That's just post on the Twitch. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for posting that. So, eighty-two <laughs> viewers are ready to raid Zach. Here we're gonna do it right now. Eighty-three. Here we go. 